Well, good evening. Um, I wanted to make this video before I go to bed. I got a, two comments on my videos, and um, I kind of wanted to respond to them in a roundabout way without directly, you know, responding to this person. Um, my targeting actually is because I moved here back in 2000, and I met my husband, and I um, didn't think that he and I were going to have a long-term relationship, but at the time, I lied to him and told him that I was of mixed race, and um, that must have pissed my family off, and so they, I guess, they got pissed off and um, contacted some people here in town, and I live in what some people have warned me about, a very racist community, and they were not, these people are not avenging my family. They were pissed off because I um, lied about my race, and apparently the mayor thinks that, you know, enforces white supremacy. And so this is why I'm in this situation. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, you know, I, I think it's really stupid, but I also do think that I am a victim of jealousy because of, of that simple fact. The fact that I am an African American, and I tend to have a higher level of intelligence um, than some of the people, I'm not saying everybody, but some of the people who got involved in my targeting, and this is something that they find defensive, and so they had made, they made a concerted effort to keep me down. Um, and then, of course, my family had their own reasons of competitive jealousy or whatever. Um, so as I was walking home today, I was thinking about how it's very important to get active in activism, because um, I've never been a political person at all. I've never... You know, I, I've never even voted or anything. I mean, I just don't get involved with it. Um, only because I... I just don't really think my vote counts at all. But I might take an independent approach and kind of step outside of the political arena and just do some activism on my own and maybe join with forces with other people who are also suffering through this situation. Um, I think, you know, once the... Um, what do you call it? The... Um, the frenzy kind of dies down, people will look at this and see that this was really stupid. And um, But a lot of people are getting targeted for stupid reasons. There's a con there, Actually, there's a lot of reasons why I'm getting targeted. I, my, my family doesn't like my husband. And, um, and then also the issue of me lying to my husband. My husband didn't even trip on it. I mean, you know, he didn't even say anything. He kind of understood. I think he was probably disappointed that I lied to him, but... I mean, he got over it, and, you know, it's no big deal, but for a lot of the people in this town, it really pissed them off. Um, so that, <clears throat> that's one of the reasons why. Um, but I was thinking today about how um, it's really important for me to get involved with activism because this I can't think of any, um, any issue that's more important in this day and age. I, I really don't think that um, there are any other issues as important as this topic. Um, because th th I, I'm looking at some of the people here who, who are targeted individuals, and there's quite a few on this channel who've talked a little bit about themselves. And some of these people, I mean, I really feel very sorry for them. Some of these people are homeless, and um, they didn't deserve, you know, to be in this situation. And so um, I never never would have thought in a million years that this would be a, such a big deal, but um, it, it is. It's a huge deal. And so I was thinking that um, by talking to, to people and making it aware, making them aware in ways that they can understand, okay, um, in this situation, um, many people got involved and they don't even realize. And that's my point. My point is they should have realized this. Um, it is a, it's a major form of harassment and it's unjustified, okay? And so my targeting to me is, is based on racism and nothing else. Um, so I'm, I'm a, a little shocked, you know, and, I, and it, I deal with a lot of depression in this situation because um, it, it destroys your entire life and over things that are stupid. So many people are being targeted for reasons that are all against the law, and there are, reason, there, there are laws to protect their situation. In my case, you know, obviously you're not supposed to discriminate against race. Um, they also brought in religion. I mean, there's so many different angles to this whole targeting thing 
that, um, that, uh, you know, I just can't even, I can't even believe. Also, the fact that, um, I, I had my, um, last name, I kept my last name, um, people were, you know, there's a lot of people here who, I believe they have Neanderthal thinking, meaning they just think they're very backwards, and they don't think, you know, that there's reasons why people keep their, their maiden name, and it really isn't any other business, but they, they kept that, they use that against me, which is against the law. Everything is against the law. So I'm dealing with, my situation is I'm dealing with, um, I'm a very qualified person, and I'm dealing with a lot of jealous competitive people. And that's pretty much um, the way that, that goes. And um, I, I would think a lot of the people who are dealing with target, being in a targeted individual or, or, or suffering from people's jealousy, whether that be created from their families or the people within their community or whatever. And um, you did mention, this person did mention, um, I guess, you know, why would they be jealous? Um, I'm not saying that they're jealous, but I would, I would think that the people who got involved in my targeting are um, upset or maybe threatened by the fact that I am an African-American person, and I tend to have you know, more knowledge, more, and I'm more skilled than anybody that I've actually come in counter to, um, contact with. Um, and then there's, you know, women in general get targeted if they're different. Um, if a lot of single women get targeted. Um, so um, I'm being picked on unnecessarily. I did a video a couple of days ago about makeup, okay? And I have met a few women here in town who wear makeup to work, okay? So I, I know a white lady who wears green eyeshadow to work, okay? She's an older lady. And so I personally think that this, um, and these, are, these issues to me are so um, foolish and absolutely stupid um, because, um, there's a lot of women who wear makeup. I went to a job interview where a, a farming company, and this lady had full-on makeup, okay? She wore the full makeup, and she had her hair dyed and everything else, and yet nobody's pointing the finger at her. So I think women are just picking on me just to kind of pick on me for no reason. Um, I have every right to present myself the way that I, I, I am. I believe that I present, well, I'm not really wearing professional clothes right now because I'm not in a job that I really give a shit about, and I'm not wearing, like, you know, regular suits and, or not suits, but, like, you know, slacks and pants and stuff like that, and plus it's the summertime, but, um, which I will be wearing that this fall, a lot of it. Um, I have the right to wear and look any, any, any way I want to, and I don't dress provocatively either, so I, I think that I'm just being a, a, a target mostly because of race mostly because of race and religion. I'm, I'm in a community that is, um, you know, I'm not saying everybody here is ignorant, but I've, I've in a community where, you know, people think that they can enforce religion. They, I'm in a community that thinks that, um, you know, um, lying to your husband about your race is a crime, okay? I'm living among people that are kind of backwards and, and, and just... Um, I'm, I'm in a town that's kind of ignorant, and I'm struggling with it, okay? I'm struggling with it because, you know, it's, it's a very, um, it's very odd, and it's very weird, and I do believe that I deserve to be in a better place, okay? I believe I deserve to be around um, people who are a lot more um, intelligent and more um, open, you know, who, people who want to be more open socially, um, and I, I understand that there's racism everywhere, but I think that this is just over the top. I think it's over the top. And I I didn't do anything to deserve this at all. Um, so, you know, I'm uh, I'm dealing with the best way I can. I was also thinking, you know, today about how um, it is a shame that I'm not being taken seriously because I should. I should be taken seriously um, when I look for work, and the only thing that's preventing me from being taken seriously is because of my race, um, which I think is bullshit. Um, there are so many people whose parents, like, spent a shitload of money for them to go to college, and um, they are targeted individuals, and there's people who think it's their responsibility to make life decisions for other people when they shouldn't, okay? So, for example, people who... There's some people who have master's degrees that are sitting at home, and even though they may have 
some qualification, they're qualified, they aren't able to find a job because there's a system in place that is keeping them out of work. And for these people, I truly feel sorry for them. I don't have a four-year degree, but what I do have is <clears throat> I have more knowledge than the people who do have uh, master's degrees, and yet I'm sitting here, you know, without a job. And I think that um, in, in either case, I, I think that it's, it's, it's a tragedy because it's a tragedy because I'm a gifted person and I deserve to be in an environment where I can excel and, um, you know, and enjoy my, my surroundings. And I'm, I'm a very intelligent African-American person who moved to a racist community. And that's pretty much the way that it is. And so um, that's really where my stocking comes. He did mention something about... Um, I did mention, you were responding to one of, this lady responded to one of my comments about um, weight loss or whatever, and I'm not saying that people are jealous of my weight loss, okay, I, but I do think that I have noticed that in, in some of the situations I've been in, and there's been many, like when I was working at Organized Sports in Chatsworth, um, I had the, one of my employees mention my weight several times. And this happened before at a couple of my jobs. And now it seems that after I left Steve Murray's place, after I lost a significant amount of weight, um, that I, it, this is, a, I've been in this situation. It's the worst situation I've ever been in. So I, I really do think that um, there are some people who have a problem with it. I, because I live in an ignorant community, um, I think a lot of people believe that being fat is normal. They think it's normal to be fat, and they want to hurt other people who care about not having a heart attack. I, I think that is really ridiculous, but I seriously, I rue the day that I ever moved here. I, I made a huge mistake moving here. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to be around people who are health conscious. I'd like to be around people who are, you know, intelligent, and I'm, I'm misplaced. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place and I'm extremely like depressed about it. And I'd like to be around people who are a little bit better. Um I I, I um it's very frustrating and so these ignorant people with their lack of skills and knowledge ended up blacklisting me, you know, in other places, which is bullshit. So um, that's what I'm pretty much dealing with, and I don't like to think of myself, I don't think of myself as superior to other people, okay? I'm just a black woman who's intelligent, but I'm intelligent enough to threaten people, and um, that's what I'm getting tired of. And also, they think that, you know, insignificant issues are valid reasons to keep you out of employment. And there is nothing um, that I've ever done that should prevent me from getting a decent paying job, Okay. Um, I deserve to have, really, in my, and this is an exaggeration, I deserve to make six figures. I deserve to make a shitload of money. Um, and I should. I mean, I have far more skills than it, more people that I've actually come in contact with. So, um, but, but this is the problem that's going on with targeted individuals. They, I'm hoping that employers will start looking at the situation and realizing that this is a form of abuse and they are keeping qualified, um, exceptionally bright people out of work, and um, they are allowing corruption, basically, to, um, they're allowing people who really aren't that qualified, and people who are um, criminals, because only criminals participate in gang stalking, okay? Um, gang stalking is illegal in every state in this country as well as I'm sure other countries, okay? I'm not so well, I'm not well versed in the laws um, in other countries, but I do know that it is a federal and state crime to participate in gang stalking. And um, so I am, I'm not saying I'm perfect, okay, but I would say compared to these people, I am law-abiding and I am an intelligent person who deserves more. And I shouldn't be in this situation. And this is what's going on with targeted individuals. A lot of people are um, getting targeted for things that that might just be just be different. Just, all you have to do is be different. I mean, if you homeschool your kid, you can get targeted because they uh, want to know why you don't put your kid in those regular school system. It's none of their business, okay? Um, I'm getting targeted because of who I'm married to. 
can't do that, okay? I can marry and I can love whoever I want to. It has nothing to do with my marriage. Um, religion, that's a no-brainer, okay? But you'd be surprised. Like I said, I am, I am living among people who are not... I'm not saying that they're stupid, I mean, because I'm sure there's intelligent people here, and I, I, I'm wondering during my, my um, the, the start of all this, was there anybody who said, wait a second, this isn't right, we shouldn't be doing this. That's, I, I wonder, was there one person who, who thought, or even, even caught on to this, okay, but they didn't. You know, the mayor, I, I, I contacted the mayor of this town, he just sat there, you know, he did absolutely nothing. To, to stop the trauma. He had, did nothing to do, he did nothing to stop the harassment. He was probably a, a part of the whole religious movement and the whole um, enforcing the Christianity thing. Well, these people aren't Christian, okay? I, I am living in a place that is very, it just, it's absolutely corrupt. It's corrupt. And, um, and you know, some of the people that I've met, I mean, like I said, there's some of these kids, um, they're, um, some of the parents, admit that their kids have been in jail multiple times. Some of these people have, like, severe drug problems, you know. And I'm not bashing them, but the fact of the matter is is that they don't see themselves as corrupt when they're the ones who are, okay. So I'm the one who's the black girl, and the black girl who's smarter than a lot of the white people in this town basically has to be stuck working a shitty job. Now, I, I, I get the feeling that the mayor thought that I deserved to be in this situation. I did not deserve to be in this situation, okay? Everybody makes mistakes, and the mistake that I made was, to me, it's, it's completely insignificant, okay? The only reason why the mayor finds this offensive is because he's a white supremacist, and, uh, and that's the only reason why somebody would find this um, offensive. And, um, and then also, he's also an ignorant fool who thinks he can enforce Christianity, which is bullshit, okay? You can't do that. So, yeah, um, I'm basically an Einstein among Im imbeciles, <laughs> is basically what I am, and it sucks, okay? So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, and you know what, I, 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 I'm hoping that things are going to start getting better, because this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't deserve to be in this situation. And um, many targeted individuals don't. Most of the things that people hold against targeted individuals are absolutely none of their business, okay? It's none of their business. I can marry who I want to. I can love who I want to. I could, um, I could worship um, a roll of toilet paper if I wanted to. If that was my preference, that's my right as an American citizen. And I, I'm hoping that I can find a better piece job than what I have because I have a great mind and and I want to use it, and I don't have to justify that to anybody. And for all the targeted individuals out there, you know, I'm hoping and wishing the best for you. I'm doing what I can, as much as I can. I mean, there's times where I get really bogged down with this depression because I'm living in a very corrupt environment. But um, for the people who truly are, you know, good at their jobs, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this this will help, and I'm doing all I can to to get things the way that they should be because everybody who got involved in my targeted targeting really doesn't deserve a job. They don't deserve to have any of the things that they have, okay? I'm the one, and I know, every day I wake up, I know I'm the one who deserves more, and these are the ones who actually should be in jail. So anyway, wrapping up this video, have a good evening.